All right, uh, I guess it's starting. Uh, I'm going to do this all in one take, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad because I'm not really going to do this again. But, um, yeah, so my name is Senerade. This is my account. Uh, I was going to do an account overview before I did this, but um, that would be just a big waste of time, so I'll probably upload that after this. Uh, most people are probably just going to be here for the um, summons anyway, so, yeah. Let's just get into it. So, let me go here. Uh, hopefully, I'll edit the title properly. So, I have 20, 24 ML summons. 10 here. Oh, shit. 10 here. Transit stones up to 13. Uh, I need one more gold, which will cost me 18 more summons. And then I'll have the 24. I could wait till 25, but I mean, better pull now than later just because the circumstances are a lot better. Um, but yeah, I'm pulling on Viking for these 18 summons just because I want a second Viking for you know various other builds. I already have a Viking. Uh, I already have a Dizzy and Dizzy's Artifacts. There's really no reason to pull for Dizzy anymore. Um, but Viking, I love Viking. Viking's like my favorite unit, so I'm just going to pull a second one just to have it. Um, not to merge it, just to have it. Uh, but yeah, so... We'll pull this one first. Wow. There you go. Good luck just because you're recording. Let's see what I get. Nothing. I think I have most already. Hellcutter. I already have too many Hellcutters. Um, okay, so 18. The next will be here. Uh, in terms of MLs. I'm pulling on MLs first because in case I pull Tenebria, which I'm going to blow my pity, if you can see I have enough for pity here, I'm going to blow my pity on Tenebria, um, which I really want because she comes with Tenebria and Sif and Angelica and I'll really, I just, I want both of them. Um, unfortunately, there's no pity for Angelica, so I might just like pull Tenebria and not get her, so, which that's going to suck, but uh, I don't have, a, I don't have a regular Chloe, which I kind of want, um, I don't have any of this, whatever this artifact is. I don't have any of this, and I need this for Wyvern 11, or not Wyvern, um, Golem 11, so, you know, that's the dairy. That's good. Uh, I need more Clarissa merges, and uh, just one more Furious. Hopefully, I don't pull like 20 Furiouses. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so basically, this is just for this. So, I'm gonna pull MLs. If I pull. If I pull. Tenebria from MLs, I won't pull on Mystics, and I'll just save it for. After haste, because I'm probably not gonna pull on haste. I really don't care about haste. I mean, haste is awesome, as much as you know any other character. It's, I don't want to. I only. I mean, I'm only gonna get like one pity, like maybe twice in a lifetime or something, right? So I'm just gonna spend it on something else. Um, but I really want Tenebria, so I'll, I'll spend it on Tenebria if I don't pull it from Moonlights. Uh, if I pull Angelica from Moonlights, I'm probably still gonna pull on this, just for the Tenebria. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically that's why I'm doing this now, because once Haste enters the pool, then he's going to pollute the 5-star pool. Uh, and I don't want that 5-star, so I'm just going to pull now to get something I do want from the pool now. Ideally, you'd want to wait till then. I mean, it's more competitive to be doing that, but I'm not that concerned with, like... Oh, you know, gotta get the newest, the late, newest latest ML5, just for the sake of doing it. I mean, if it's going to be new ML5, it's because I want it, and... I know, I, I wouldn't choose Haste over Tenebria, so that's that's kind of what I'm going with there. Um, but yeah, so let's see, what's I gonna do? Let's go, I'm gonna pull these first, get this uh, transit stone, and we'll redeem them for ML Summon, so let's do that for now. Uh, I wouldn't suggest pulling for a second Biken, like I am. Um, especially this close to... This close to Alfeld, but, you know... Whatever. Um, I have enough to pity Alfelt if I have to, and I don't see myself getting too many more merges on her. Um, merges, yeah, there goes my Fire Emblem speak. Uh, hopefully I get a Viking fairly soon, then I can just pull on like Covenants or something. Uh, I've done 10 summons. I'm just gonna click through a bunch of these decently quickly, unless it's like this, then we'll just watch it, but that's obviously because I have that. Um, Closed off. Torn sleeves would be decent. I already have two torn sleeves. A uh, third one, I mean, I guess it'd be pretty nice. Let's see what I get. There you go. U-beards. U-beards. No. 
Uberius. There we go. Uberius. Uberius. Uh, let's go take a look here. Eight more. Okay. I just want. I'm just like really want to be careful to make sure I get this. Seven. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. I guess this is getting two five ML five star or ML five two five star artifacts isn't too bad. So I'll probably just take this to pity later. But for now, I'm just trying to get the gold treadmill stones. So I mean, for sure, I'm probably just gonna get a second pike, and whether I pull it one two, whether I pull it lucky or go to pity, I'm gonna get a second pike. In. Um, okay. I was, I was wondering, I was hopefully, hoping that was. Surin, I do need more Surins. I kind of like regular Surin more than ML Surin, but that's just me. It's nothing, and the last one for now. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll come back to this one later, but I got the, the stone I needed. Let's go redeem them for MLs. What do you think? Mm. Oh man, it's gonna take a while. Maybe I should have done this beforehand. Two, three, two, and one. Okay, 120 ML summons. That should be. However much I said it was. Uh, let's go see. Rika, a customer. So here we go. We uh, after this, uh, probably just immediately start pulling on Mystics. Um, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Uh, just have to be one big goal summoning video. So you know, let's go. Uh, things I want. Let's take a look here. Uh, I could use a Ken just because anybody could use a Ken. Anybody could use a Corvus. Though Corvus is kind of boring. ML says would be pretty cool. I want ML says over. Uh, Ken and Corvus. Vildred uh, up there with ML says. <sniffs> Ruel, kind of whatever. Uh, I just don't like how slow she is, but I mean, she's obviously very powerful. I mean, any one of these, you know, you take. I just, you know, as long as it's not a duplicate, so I don't want the Chloe. I already have a Chloe. Silverblade is probably at the top of the list of who I want. Um, it's just because I love Araminta. She's like second compared to Biken, but yeah. Um, she's also pretty decent. Desert Jewel Basar, I do not have, and I really don't want to. Oh no, I do have Desert Jewel Basar. I don't have Sage Bell. I don't want Sage Bell at all. Um, Desert Jewel, I mean, I have, I guess. I don't have. A, I don't want a duplicate. I don't want Fallen. Judge Kise, I don't have, which would be nice to get. Spectene, I kind of don't want Spectene just because I'm going to pull her on Mystics. But um, if she does, I guess that says we Mystic something. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Little Queen Charlotte, I kind of want. I I was going to pull on her Mystic, but then I saw that uh, Tenebrio was coming next, and I was like, well, I'll just take that. Uh, Ambitious Taiwan, no, I don't want. Faith of Lyrica, I do very much want. And Apocalypse Traveler, yes. Uh, I'm not missing too many of these, but I kind of want. I want Crimson Armin because I don't have her. Uh, who was the other one I wanted? I kind of want Crescent Moon Rin. Be pretty cool to get. Um, who else was there? Oh, uh, what, what's his name? Ch or Challenge Domino would be pretty cool too. Uh, but no, where, where, where is he? Um, ML, not Cartusia, the other one. Oh, well, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a four star. Oh, what was his name? I can't remember his name right now. Pergus, there you go. General Pergus. Uh, I also want General Pergus. Um, I don't have that. I actually have enough to, like, triple S General Pergus when I pull him, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, well, here we go. Wow, there we go. Come on, five star on the first summon. Do it. Where's my mouse? I lost my mouse. Okay, four star. General Purgus. Oh, I actually wanted him too, kind of. I mean, I wasn't like wishing for him, but uh, he'd be pretty useful. Uh, I, have a, I have a bunch of Crozets. I was going to make... I was wondering if I should imprint Crozet for Wyvern 13, but I already have uh, a good enough tank for that. And yeah, so I'll probably just dump them all into Troublemaker Crozet because I, you know, he looks really, looks really good. All right, let's try another one. Okay, this one's just a three star. Arrowwhelm. Three stars. I'm just hoping to get a few three stars to like uh, imprint some of these. Like her, be good to get. 
Like if I'm gonna get a three star, that that should be it. Um, Requiem War. I guess I didn't mention at the beginning. This isn't by no means a whale account. Um, all these MLs are basically free to play. I'm not 100% free to play. I buy like the monthly packs. I think you might have seen up there in the burning thing. Um, but I don't really buy any like other packs. I haven't like the one thing I would buy is probably the collab pack, but I'm probably not gonna buy that. Um, but I just kind of buy whatever's like good value. You know what I mean? Um, these monthly packs are probably the best value you can get, so I, I, I'll buy them every so often. I only buy one of them too. I already have Fighter Maya. More imprints always good. Uh, I don't have her built yet, just because um, a bunch of other units use, but she, she'll be really good. I, I really do need a light bait, so I'll probably build her now that I have enough imprints. Um, but yeah, this is not, I don't have a whale account, but it's not like, you know, if you're being super strict and free to play, I'm not, you know, not free to play. Astronox, you can search him up for that. He's about as free to play as you can get. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't really like to just buy my way through stuff, which, you know. A few convenience things like um, gold booster and whatnot are, are within the realm of what I want. Oh, there goes my phone. Uh, five star. Damn it, it would have gotten real well. Oh well, yeah. There you go. I mean, you know, not to be ungrateful, but you know, I already got a few well, five stars. Um, Ruel would be pretty good, just that uh, she's a bit slow, and I really don't like playing as slow as Ruel kind of asks you to. Uh, but yeah, she's good. Um, I don't really do hero showcases. I might, you know, in the future or something. But right now, this is like the first video I make, so I'll just go off of that. There we go. Another. I think I'm having pretty good luck compared to like other people. I've seen a few twenty summons, few ten summons, and whatnot. Um, I don't think they've gotten much shiny as this. Oh, there we go. I have enough to. Um, I don't know about max, but I can get a few imprints on her. I want her Marin. I'm probably not gonna build her, but like immediately but it's good to have her I, I really wanted her for a while now she's just very interesting uh, nothing here oh I don't have this one who is this is this Batiste do I have Batiste I didn't know I didn't have Batiste I think I have him in my box somewhere okay well there you go Batiste is new like uh, that there you go another shine I wonder how many ML5s I can pull in this. This, is, this should be 24 summons, I think. Yeah, 24 summons. 125 would be 25. There you go. I have enough to max imprint Cartusia, so... I wanted Pergus, but ML Cartusia is not too bad either. Um, so it should be fun. I'll, I'll play around with them. 60 summons left. Or not 60 summons. Um, 12, so... 11... And Eaton, Eaton, always good. I already have him. I have him five star. I'm working on thinking about six starring him, but uh, it takes a little while. Oh, there you go, another Eaton. Eaton imprints are always good. Uh, Arrowell, Phyllis, Batiste. There he is again. Okay, there's a few left now. Always, I could always use more uh, Axe God imprints. Lorena imprints always. I think I just need one more, so that's pretty cool. It kind of sucks now that if I pull a Lorena, it's going to be like a waste, essentially, but yeah. Uh, Gunther. Gunther's good for the memes. Batiste. Oh, there we go, another shine. So the last two. Let's see if this is a five star. That'd be pretty nice. Imagine getting two five stars. Watch your Shuri. I already have like I have a regular Shuri, Triple S, and Watch your Shuri. Um, yeah, Watch your Shuri is like I think A or S or something. But I, you know, I can always use more imprints. And here's the last one, and it's nothing. Uh, Mercer, actually, that's pretty good. Uh, I needed some Mercers. Well, that's that. Um, Twenty-four summons. Got one ML five star Ruel. Very good. Very good. Um, Alright, so let's do Mystic Summons, I guess. Uh, as long as we're here summoning, may as well just like do as many summons as necessary. Uh, let's see what I can pull out of this. I would really love to get Angelica before I get the, um, the Tenebria, but we'll see. It always feels so bad using your Mystic Summons as a free-to-play. Like, I've never bought any Mystic Metals 
with money at all, so like... Uh, so, um, Mystic Pities are always going to be like a rare thing and, and burning it on something is always like, even if you want the unit, it always just, it's just a feel bad, man. Like, it could be like a unit that like one shots an entire four team and just gives you the win. Um, but it's still like, it would still feel like, it'll still feel like crap pulling on it just cause like you're losing a, um, so many of these things that took you forever. Uh, so in terms of saving, how long did it take me to get all these Mystic Summons? I've been saving for like two months now. Um, just because I was kind of bored with the game for a while and there was nothing to pull for. So I was just like, you know, I'll just hoard these up and do whatever as time passes. And, and well, here we are. Uh, the game's getting a little more interesting. RTA is getting more interesting. I actually have to try an RTA now just because I want that uh, Tenebria skin, which you know, I forgot what rank it's in, but I've been told it's fairly easy. So, you know. As long as I stay where I need to to get that skin, then I'll be good. Um, but yeah, this, let's see. I don't know if I would 100% say you get about 20 summon, 10 summons. Per, if you divide it out, right, That's let's say it's 20 summons, and then you know maybe I got lucky and I got four extra summons that they're in between here and there. Let's say you get an average of 10 summons per month. I don't know if I'd say you would as a free-to-play. I wasn't keeping track of all this stuff. Um, I did, you know, basically was, like I said, it was free to play to get these, to get all these. I've never bought like a Moonlight pack or anything. I might like show, if I can like, if I feel like editing that stuff, I could show like, you know, wh what exactly what I've spent on this game, which if you go into like your Google Play Store and all that stuff, you can see um, when you spent money and all that stuff and I can like put those up. Um, but I mean, you know, again, this channel is, is small and like, like my first video or second video. So, you know, it, it's going into stuff that doesn't really matter. But yeah, like you could go in there and, and do all that stuff. But yeah, like I haven't pulled, I haven't really bought anything in this game that's more than, like I bought the rank up packs. Those are pretty good um, just because they're like great deal, like $30 for 3,000 sky stones. That's normally $100. So, you know, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so this is just saving. Oh, also, th some of those Mystic Medals come from, like, um, Abyss 100, which I, I beat, so there's that. Uh, but it's important to realize, and I couldn't skip that, so I think this is the sword I was looking for. Yeah, okay. So I need to, I need to, I really need to max this, because my L Lilius in Gollum could really use that, just because, like, it'll push her up, like, incredibly, because, like, the only attacks you get are AoEs. <laughs> Um, which means that she'll just cleanse more often because she'll her S3 she'll take turns more which means her S3 will be up more uh, Hopefully I only get one more of these or hopefully this is the last one I get um, but I'm not counting on it um, But yeah, like hopefully she'll cycle more because I need her to cleanse more just because that's the only problem I mean, I, I have 100% success rate. It's just that sometimes it's slower because like people get blinded or um, Yeah, so Hopefully that'll speed it up uh, Golem isn't very useful to be farming anyway, but um, I just like to have all the farms like down. So you know, golems down, wyverns down, banshees down. Azimanic is the only one that's kind of hard because ML Zerato doesn't like do it anymore. Because like, yeah, you like you can't have them putting too many bleeds on her, or else she gets like overpowered, which is irritating. Um, so yeah, just trying to figure out. Um, I mean, Charles with. Um, what's her name? I'm drawing a blank right now. But Tamarin is a pretty good combo because Tamarin cleanses with the S1 and Charles cleanses if he hits the S2, which he usually he does quite often. Um, that sometimes is enough, but sometimes uh, sometimes they don't they're, they're not consistent enough with it. Uh, and then I have to kind of figure out what to do about damage. You need like AOE damage. Like I, my original Azumatic was like using Seaside Valona in there with Charles, Nebria, or not Charles, Seaside Valona, Lilius, and Tamarin was my original team. Uh, hey, look, there, there's Chloe. There you go. Now all I need is uh, Sinful Angelica, and uh, that'll be great. Um. Chloe's pretty good. Uh, she her magic nail can be resisted by the um, wyvern. Plus, it does two percent damage every time someone hits him. So that's it can stack up. Uh, whether I want to build her 
I'm not entirely sure. My team is already kind of tight as it is. I'll probably do a video on my team later or just kind of like thoughts that someone might might be useful for someone. Um, but yeah, uh, she can be useful. Just the problem is that like the nail is only on her S2 and she doesn't use her S2 as often. Um, and then, you know, given the first wave, you're not sure whether the S2 will be up for the next turn. So yeah, she looks pretty good. Probably won't build her, have way too many units to build, especially after that um, summon session. Uh, as much as I said, obviously I'm not too big a fan of Ruel, uh, she's still very useful and just having her is probably going to boost your like defense wins pretty dramatically I'd say. Ooh, come on please. Angelica would be great if it's Tenebria. Yes! There we go. Okay. I don't really have problems with reviving or anything like that. Um, like I usually beat most teams with revivers, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, but she's just nice to have. I like Angelica. I like the way she looks. She looks really cool. I like her art style. I like her ult. Very berserk looking. Um, yeah, so, you know, very cool. There you go. Now I just got to pull the Tenebria and I got everything I wanted out of here. I would like to have had more of that uh, Guardian artifact. Uh, but I only pulled one, so, you know, kind of a bummer. Um, which is crazy, because I've been pulling... Like, I pulled on bike in the first time, I'm gonna pull on bike in the second time. Uh, I'm pulling here, and I've only gotten one out of all of those, so that's that's pretty ridiculous. But, you know, not as ridiculous as only having one adamant shield a year into the game. I only recently limit broke it. I actually pulled the other five that I needed from when I was summoning for Biken. So I guess I can't complain, but still, it's pretty annoying. Uh, not to mention, like, a whole year, because I started playing when the GG collab was here last time. I didn't pull Biken last time because it was too late, but I did get dizzy last time, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this counts a year old. Um, I guess almost to the dot within, like, a month, so... Uh... In a year, I have never even pulled one Idol's Cheer as well, which is pretty irritating. So I'm going to have to pull it out of the uh, Dust Shop rotation, which is annoying because I have to buy it. You have to buy the Bottle of Knowledge, and you have to have enough to buy that. So, Damn, I've got so many Wondrous Potion Vials. Please, man. Uh, let's see. This is a regular summon. And last but not least, uh, Guaranteed. Yay, it's Tenebria. S10 a is obviously very good. Um, she's not going to like make your account broken. Probably Ken or uh, like Vildred would be a lot better. But S10A, you know, like I said, I like her. She's not that bad. Um, plus she's getting that arena skin, which is like, oh my gosh, it's like amazing. Uh, but yeah, here we are. So, you know, S10A, thank you. Uh, how can I close this? Let's go back. I have ah that uh, 200 summons counter. Man, feels horrible. 1,300, um, or 1,400 closer to. So hopefully, I have uh, a decent amount for the next uh, ML, whatever. You know, when, if I ever need to pull on Mystics again, hopefully I'll have enough to do something by then, make a chunk or something, or just get lucky, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's it for the video. Um, it's a bit long, hopefully not too long. I, I did ramble on a bit, um, but that was while I was summoning to some degree. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess let's take a look at uh, some of the units we got. Uh, Chloe's here, Tenne's here. This is some of the, a lot of the stuff I have on here. Um, see, like I have enough to, like, four star, five star Pergus. Batiste was already in here, and I have the other Batiste that I got. Artifacts, look at this, look at this. Oh no, I only have one. In my account, I have like a way more. Like I, I pulled out way more of these, but they're these are stored. Um, da, 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 um, so I only have one of this, which is pretty irritating. Let's take a look at my heroes. And I guess the, the video is over by now, so I'm not pulling anything else. I don't think. Yeah, I'm not pulling any more. Um, probably in my own time, I'll probably pull. I might make a video for the bike and summons, but it, probably not worth it. Uh, let's go look at recent. Uh, the other way around. Adelaine, nobody gives a shit. Batiste, Watcher Shuri, there's that guy, there's her. Look, Batiste is right there. 
Did I get two Batiste? No. I, I, oh yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's Eaton. More imprints are always good. Cartusia, probably max him right now in a little bit. Crescent Moon Rain, I think I have enough to max her. Um, I'll have to take a look at that. Um, but yeah, yeah, here's your roll of light. Um, problematically, we're at a point where, I mean, we're missing a lot. Of, like, there's no Molagora right now. Um, I only got five. Uh, but yeah. You don't really need to boost this. Uh, S2. The biggest... So here's the thing with Ruel. She's annoying as hell. Like, she's one of the tankiest uh, heroes in the game. She revives and she has two max... She basically has two max health heals. One of them's a revive and the other one's a cleanse, I think. Uh, same effect. Okay, all debuffs, all, buff, all debuffs are dispelled. Dispelling all debuffs. So she has two dispels for individuals. She has a revive. Um... It's kind of hard to justify her being like as good as she used to be, just because of how many like revive stoppers there are now. Like, again, you know, at this point you probably clicked off already, but like for anybody who was still here, probably just wants to like see a few things. But I mean, like, like look at this. We've got I don't know what order this is in. What's going on here? How do I change the order? All heroes. There we go. Yeah, five star. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. like Ruel's here. Where are we? Uh, I guess I'd have to like actually look for them. Nah, that's pretty annoying. But I mean, like, as we just saw, do we have a mage with? With no, we don't. Have, wow, we don't have a mage with extinction. That's kind of weird. Do we? Oh man, my scrubbiness is showing. Look like a fucking retard. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody has extinction. That's kind of weird. I, you'd think somebody would have that. Uh, warrior. So we have secret, which no one has a built secret, and nobody really cares to build secret. So, you know, you don't have to worry too much about her. Um, like secret's pretty good. I have her, but I have her built for wyvern. Um, it's hard to build her for PvP just because she's got so many stat requirements. Lilibet's probably the easiest, uh, most readily available extinction unit. Um. But there you go. So you got Lilius. Who else had extinction? Uh, obviously, Specimen says has extinction. ML Haste is going to come out, which people are going to pull for. So everybody's going to have him on day one or week one or week two or who knows, right? Um, so there'll be ML Haste running around everywhere, which doesn't negate the resurrection, but it's just going to make it such a pain in the ass. Um, who else had? Uh, I, you know, like I just pulled Sinful Angelica. She prevents the resurrections. So like, all in all, Ruel like isn't gonna be as big or impactful as she as she used to be. Like back then, oh my gosh, there was no counter. Like you tried hitting her, and you had four other units attacking you, keeping you from doing whatever. And sometimes she, a lot of times she ran, uh, what was it, Idol's Cheer, and it was just irritating. So you couldn't hit her, and then you tried killing the other ones, and the other ones would just be revived because she can revive people. But now it's like I'm just gonna run my Lilibet in here, or I'm just gonna put something to stop that and she's just basically useless like this why would you run this over like her kit is balanced around the idea that she revives a person to full health but if you remove that she's basically weaker than than her regular than um what's her name ah uh, what's her name weaker than destina there we go where is she there she is She's basically weaker than Destina, because Destina has a full cleanse for the whole team, and the whole team heal, and a CR push, and if you, like, run her on counter with that stupid, uh, she's got a exclusive equipment that cleanses a debuff, and she just heals everything. So, both of them taken without revival, Destina's just way better. The only thing that makes her well better is, in fact, that revival. So, against people who don't have anything that can counter that, she's going to be irritating as hell, uh, as much as she used to be, but... Nowadays, it's just like hard. The invincibility is pretty good too, but you know, invincibility. We've got so many like cleansers now as well. Like Ayala's violin is in the store, so there you go. Um, what's his name? Basar obviously is irritating. I mean, he's just gonna do that on the first turn. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling at this point. But yeah, um, just Ruel's gonna be good. 
Uh, will I build her right away? Probably not. I'd prefer to build Tenebria over her right now. Just because I have enough tanky healers. Like, I have... I mean, look, look at this. I have all these. I have every Soul Weaver in the game. I got them all. Don't worry about it. Like, uh, now, now I have them all. Look, like, I'm missing this. That's what it says I'm missing, but I have her in the box. So, like, I have every Soul Weaver in the game. Um, I, I just... Uh, like, so many of them have better uses. Like, Tamarin is just unbelievable in raid and like if you haven't used her for uh, abyss oh my gosh she gives you like four turns in a, in a row like theoretically just because of how many um 50 percent cr pushes you get and it's just it's just ridiculous dn is very good for uh she, she has a lot of score she has a lot of um camping morale in raid which i use her for in in all raids i think i take, take her out in hell raid and some of the runs because some of the bosses, yeah. But uh, regular raid, I use her. I can auto regular raid with her, and then uh, I can auto the top. I can auto the right, the top right boss, and the top left boss with her. Maybe not auto the left one, but yeah. Uh, the queen and the bottom two, I actually have to go in with Tamarin because they're really annoying. Yeah, I mean like Rowana, like. She basically, like, if people, like, oh, she's just ridiculous. Like, if, if anybody picks Seaside Bologna or Lilius, she just negates them. Like, it's just, it's, it's hardcore. Like, it's pretty bad. Um, but, like, Elena, I have Elena, too. And, like, Elena stops a lot of AoE stuff. She has two cleanses on her S1. Like, there's just so many healers that are so good for, like, a bunch of different, like, different roles that, like, Destina's just good at reviving people. And reviving is, is getting nerfed hardcore, given the units that are coming out. Um, so yeah, that's that's why that's kind of why I don't like using uh, Maid Chloe, just because especially just because there's a lot of uh, Alencias and Basars coming out and ba like she's oh, she just got so shafted, dude. Um, I actually put like all the Molagora into this. I have her built. I have her six star and everything. Uh, put all the Molagora into this and whatever you need, you know, the one into this. But she's just not useful anymore. Like nothing you can do about it. Like Basar, good pusher. Team wide uh, immunity cleansing. Uh, he's just great. Uh, this stun, oh my gosh, this stun is like, it always comes in all the time in the clutchest moments. It's just ridiculous. Like, even some four stars are very good. Like Angelica, obviously fantastic. And, you know, that's not even to mention Angelic Montmorency, which is probably the best healer in the game right now, I'd say. I don't know. Just the fact that she's free and she's so readily available and she's just ridiculous. But yeah, again, like I said, this is rambling. And if you didn't really care to hear this, then you probably left already. Um, oh, what's this? There we go. But yeah, so that's that. Um, I might, like I said, I might do an account overview and, and talk about where the account is at after a year, uh, a year of being, you know, no, not a whale, but like I said, not free to play 100%, like a dolphin, like a lower end dolphin maybe. Um, but yeah, I'll probably summarize all the stuff I bought and, and everything, you know, try to be transparent in that video about like where the account's at and how it got here. But yeah, for now, that hopefully you all enjoyed the uh, 24 ML summons. Um, what was that? Oh, nice. There you go. Free bookmarks for biking. Um, so hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, I guess that's me. I'm out. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Also, uh, I don't know how you found, if, if you might've found this channel first somehow, um, even though I like no subscribers, uh, go check out Dr. Squirrel. He's, uh, we're in the same guild and lie. Um, he'll do a lot of guild war videos and, and, uh, if you want to see good, good content, he, he's, he's, uh, he's there. So yeah. Just a shout out to him. Thanks for uh, allowing me to join the guild and all that. So, yep. Yep. And that's it.